Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today, we are going to be doing a one day build on the Instagram page. So I'm going to be doing a clone of this, but it's going to be more of a redesign. We're going to be using Vue.js and Vue.defy for our programming frameworks and JavaScript for the language. Yeah, so let's open up Instagram. So this is my Instagram page. It's pretty clean as you can see, but then what we're going to be focusing on is the profile page. And so this is really nice, but it's just been so long that Instagram hasn't changed anything and it just looks the same. So if you want to see my Instagram page, you can follow me if you would like. It's wizard.tapa. Yeah, so we're going to be redoing this page and I found a concept of that page over here. So we're going to be building some similar thing to this which I really like because it's really clean and it fills up more of the space. It uses more of the white space more effectively. Let's uh, get started. So we are going to be using Vue.js. It's a progressive JavaScript framework, which I really like to use. In my opinion, I feel it's really easy to learn and very useful for quick prototyping. Vue is definitely the easiest one to get into if you're just starting out. And then we are also going to be using Beautify is a material design component framework, which makes the development process and design process a lot faster than anything else. So yeah, feel free to use them. I recommend them on my side. And let me know what you think in the comments below. So let's get started. So what I use is I use VS Code. So let's do a new window. And then we can the terminal here. And we go to CD Project Store 20. So I got a bunch of different projects that I work on usually. Create. You can do a yarn serve, and then it'll start up the development server. Yep. And then once you reach here, you can click command click and then it will open in localhost 8080. If you see this page, you've installed everything correctly. And this is the Instagram clone. This is what we're going to be making. Got the logo here, it's got a search bar, it's got this toolbar here, basically. It's got a full navigation panel and then feed stories and we have the profile. So yeah, let's get to work on that.
All right, guys, I think we are done. Uh, we've got most of the things in there. And yeah, it looks pretty good. I think I'm pretty close to the real thing. So yeah, if you want to see the comparison, here's comparison. So here's the original. And then here's what we made. So we've got uh, this part, so it looks pretty similar. You can see I've changed the picture because I, I don't want to use the same picture. Instagram is the same, it's about half. Mine's going a little bit longer, but I just like it that way. Emma Watson, uh, the text is the same, same style. This is maybe a little bit too close. This is also a little bit closer. But uh, yeah, the colors are pretty much similar. And then we've got this part, which is the, the menu selection, navigation menu selection. Then we have the search area, where you can see, okay, I've got the search area, the featured stories, yeah, the featured stories, popular stories. And then this one goes over, but I didn't want to mess with that right now. So yeah, it's just a simple few hours build and uh, yeah. We've got that, we've got the latest feed, got the latest feed here. This is responsive because I used the rows and columns. And so, yeah, that kind of works that way. So, use that. And then, um, yeah, then I have this section. Here, I have this section. So, here, this, this way. It's not like super responsive, but it works. Yeah, so we've got this section over here. Uh, I just named him John Doe. He's got Benjamin Hardman. He's got a lot of stuff. I didn't add the read more functionality. You can add that in if you would like. Uh, I've got locations, profession, and profession. I just put locations and profession. And I put a little bit of my description in here if you want to read that. But yeah, it's all up to you. Um, this is pretty much built. I really like how it came out. Uh, this part took a little bit, but I got working with uh, some CSS and yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Yeah, if you, yeah, I'm going to be posting this up on my GitHub and you can download the code from there. Uh, leave a comment on what you would like to see next or what you would like to see more of. Yeah, and let me know what you thought of this one. It was pretty simple, not too crazy, not too complicated, not like the Facebook one. This one was like way more simple. But yeah, I just thought I'd do something because I haven't done this for a while. So yeah, concept of one day build. I got it from Kelly Halden. Uh, shout out to him, great developer, great, great channel. And he got it from another person. Can't remember his name, but yeah, uh, great, great great idea love doing it i like doing it every once in a while so yeah let me know your thoughts in the comments like and subscribe and peace out